Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Switchwire Kit Unboxing. Even a new camera set up to try today. Let's see how this works. How's everyone doing? I see Beartastic chimed in early. He's gonna have to watch this later. So, a little belated hello, or delayed hello. Hi, Kevin. So we're gonna play around with two screen angles today. I think we got a, the traditional, what I've been working with. Um, and then I'm set up a, one of my close up cams. I just clamped it to a, a rod up here so I can get an overhead shot. So, hi Tony, hi Jaguar, hi Eve. So, let's see how this goes. So this is the a pre-production or a, um, a preview kit of the um, Switchwire from LDO. Um, we're going to be building this on Sunday, which I realize is um, Halloween, but mm, should be done before, or at least my time before <laughs> it's, it gets dark. We're going to start about nine o'clock my time, and um, I don't know how long it's going to take be curious how long you guys think it'll take so hi chaos so if I can if anybody wants it to give any feedback on the camera setup with the view of me in the corner um, that'd be good because I'm still playing with things I'm probably gonna switch things around more but, hey heart so, let's get this going I received this yesterday and for some reason, I decided that it was a good idea not to open it at all until the stream time. So I've been excited to open this and holding off. Oh crap. Thanks, Chaos. I forgot to post it. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's the easiest way for me to get there. Give me just a moment. I I I am about half an hour out from being at work. So this is a new thing for me doing a after work stream. So I'm a little little discombobulated, but it ought to be relatively short. I just want to go through this, kinda maybe some commentary. Give me just a moment or I'll get this thing, get this thing posted. Um, oh boy. Give me about one minute because this is going to be way quicker if I use the other computer. Okay, that ought to do. Thanks for the reminder. I'll go back over here. Oh, Maker Viking. I haven't seen you around here yet. I've seen you on other places. How you doing? We got Andrew. Hi. Hey, Sanity. And G Funny Money. Hello. So, got it cu cut open, so let's go for it. I have no idea how this is laid out. list. Some of this stuff over there. Deal with it later. <laughs> I 
Okay, so right on top we have panels. Let's just go thing by thing, I think. I don't know how annoying this noise is going to be. We'll cut this instead. Eh, maybe not. Why don't I do this? Because I have a feeling that's annoying. Get that any better. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that was going to be a little harsh. It was harsh here. I'm going to be stacking these in the corner anyway, so. Looks like the same um, acrylic style opaque black as the other kits. I've seen the Trident pieces for these and the V0 pieces, so they look like the same stuff. I'm just gonna stack them down here. Yeah, Chaos, I figured I had to do something for this. There was no way I could, I was gonna manage that spot camera. And now Charlie's chewing on the wrapping for this stuff. <laughs> you know, I have set boxes out and Charlie will sit in them, but there are so many boxes around, I think he's actually kind of over it. I, I guess what happens is if there's a box in a weird spot in the house it's not usually has boxes, then it piques his interest. But here in the garage, he doesn't worry about them. same I'm sure this is all it should be three millimeter two point eight millimeter acrylic doors this would be the top front panel top rear panel and it has the notches that the switch wire has for helping locate the panels to each other there's no frame around them there's printed pieces that will um, hold everything together with the printed br uh, corner brackets and VHB tape Almost got one. Do you have, have too many bed slingers? Or, oh, yeah. Well, this will be... I still have, for bed slingers, I still have a Prusa Mark III with the, um, with the bare frame upgrade. And I have my original serial number 001 um, switch wire. These are the side channels. 
we'll see during the build. I assume all the holes will line up, but we'll confirm. And this would be the top rear or the back panel. And then this is the bottom panel to enclose the electronics. Yeah, it takes a whole lot less time to unwrap it than wrap it, and a whole lot less care. <laughs> so SwitchWire has always tried to follow the... All the Vorons should have, have some sort of relatively easy enclosure. So, and it works really well. I've printed ABS on my original SwitchWire quite a bit. Okay, we got some bubble wrap, we'll just hang out here. I do have at least one extra thing in here that's for a different project, and it looks like the ADXL box popped open, so I'll grab those pieces. This is a little ribbon cable, or what do you call these? The, I'm drawing a blank, the type of cable this is. But it's a really long, very flexible, flat cable for the ADXL. And I might have some screws for it. This is a little custom PCB for that flat cable and it plugs into the Pi for um, power and the signal wires. FFC. Okay. Hey, Bear, I thought you were going to bed. <laughs> well, glad you're here. Uh-oh. Well, maybe the rest of that is somewhere. So I had a... I, I requested a V0 display. I bought this for my red um, V0, so we threw that in the box. Has the dragonfly... Just the normal uh, reflections. Nice blue dragonfly. Controller should be a E3 mini E3 V2. Hey, Nerq, how are you doing? Oh, they included a. SD card. I thought Big Tree Tech had stopped doing that. Maybe, I wonder if LDO threw that in there. Or maybe they got a stock of them that has the card. Yeah, what have I, I've installed a Dragonfly, I think it's just on the V0 kit I did. It came with one. It's nice, I like the, um, the rigid mounting and as long as things don't go wrong the the unsupported heat break is fine so mini e3 this is just your standard wall power cord leave that in there find the other pieces to this ADXL kit in here, the input shaper kit. Uh. Chaos, how long do you think it'll take to build the kit? That's a good question. I was curious what you guys thought. I asked on my last stream and I don't, I don't remember what the, if there was a, too many guesses. It took me eight hours to get all the way up to the point before panels 
on the V0.1 kit. I streamed that, but it was Discord only. And I and I I had talked about publishing that video to YouTube, but the problem is since I did it only in Discord, you only hear one side of every conversation. You only hear me. So I'm responding to stuff that's happening in Discord and there's no context. And I have a feeling that would be kind of annoying. So I'm hoping for let's say seven hours. Um, but we'll see. The factor, the YouTube factor is going to play a major part. Um, I'm playing with this, but this is the little channel stuff, wire channel, um, that LDO has been included, including in these. They included, uh, something like this in the V0.1 kit as well. So, it was really nice to use, as long as you put, don't put too many wires in it. This all s snaps over from the top. And then covers... Gives a nice channel for the wire and control it a little bit. Tool head in motion box. Oh boy, this is a busy one. Okay. Grub screws. So we're, we have M4 and M3 grub screws in here. They're very different when you look at them, so... It just looks, it looks like two types. All the Bontech BMG parts. Looks like it's the newest stuff with the brass gear and the black plastic gear. Bearings. 22 pulleys. The key back. So this is the component on switch wire that lets Core XZ work without having to worry about your um, tool head falling onto the bed whenever the motors turn off. So it's just a, it's literally a belt attachable keychain holder, key holder. And it should have, I think it's, is it the 13 ounce one or the 20 ounce one that we spec? Let's see if it says on here. This is a 36 inch. It doesn't say the, the pull strength. Yeah, cable raceway is what sounds right to me. I'm sure you can get it in all kinds of colors, Andrew. I, I haven't looked. And yeah, you, I'm sure you can print it too. All the bearings. These are all the F695s. There should be, I think there's 20 of these. Little bit of 4x2 millimeter PTFE for the tool head. And then we have our gates, and it says gates on there. Gates belt. And these are generic chains, 10 by 11, but they have the Igus two hole pattern. So as I've been pushing what revisions I do to the different printers, I've been changing the names on the ends just to two hole or three hole um, because it's not always just Igus because they, they're currently named like Igus and generic. So hopefully clear that up a little bit, but these feel good. They have a similar arc or whatever to them to any of the other chains I've played with. They say J-Flow on them. And they have a wire tie cable anchor point at the ends. We'll see if that gets in the way and if we have to cut that off or not. Oh, good call. Yes, they open. Let me find my... They pop from the side, it looks like. Yeah. But the, the point to, is on the side. Some of them go from the top. These pop open from the side. Which 
actually is nicer for when you have to get it where it's curving around uh, um, the gantry. Let's see if I can get these back in the box and get all this flat packed back in here. I have a feeling I've messed that up. There we go. Motion stuff. Three hole chains don't stay parallel on the top side. I'm not, not sure. It, at the ends, you can usually loosen the, the screws that hold the ends and kind of tweak them around, make sure that they're they're straight. And there are three drag chains in there. Um, they will, I just didn't take them all out. I'm trying to get this. To... There we go. I guess I'll just stack this stuff over here. Hi, Chris. So we got a cable kit. Let me get before I lose my screwdriver. I have over here. I just caught caught a glimpse. There's the there's the missing um, input shaper board. It's a little. I don't know if it. It's got to be custom because it used that F, uses that FFC cable. So, oops, sorry. Put this in the little box. Oh, I didn't check, and I'll have to. I'm not going to pull it back out of the box, but I didn't check if one end was fixed or if both ends are, or one of each. You're welcome, Chris. I'm glad. I'm glad you're finding it useful. Okay, so this is the wiring. So we have, so the LDO has embraced the tool head board uh, by heart. You still here? Let me see if, this is the controller side. And this mounts underneath the printer and a 14 pin cable is all that's ran from along the gantry from the tool head to underneath the printer. Um, got a little, I don't know if you can see it here, little Voron and LDO logos. And this is, so this part is designed by LDO for underneath the printer, but the tool head side, they used Hart's design. And we'll look at that closer when it comes up. But what makes that really nice, and I, I'm trying to do something similar on, I don't know if you can see here, this is my, v, my original V2. I'm rewiring it, but I'm going to use a couple of big microfit connectors on the underside so I can make little controller pigtails so I can try different things, different controllers on there. So all of these are labeled. So this is the um, bed probe pigtail, the X end stop pigtail, and all of these plug into this side and then to the board. So it's really, really nice. Hi, Jason. Okay, so that's that. Oop, let's keep that here. And now we've got the other side of the the tool head PCB. So this has the whole harness that goes along the through the chains and then Hart's tool head PCB here. So I don't know if LDO tweaked anything on this. It says original design by Hart K. 
afterburner tool head PCB by the LDO and it has both logos there. But it's accompanied by an end stop end stop harness for the tool head for the X end stop and thermistor wiring all stuff that's already pre-cut to the right lengths your heater cartridge and then this single nice pre-terminated harness it plugs in there runs through the cables or the cable chains and down into the bottom of the printer You're welcome, Master Dreamweaver. I'm glad you're liking it. Thanks for the clarification, Hart. Box. Oh, and then a uh, Omron style. Maybe Omron. Uh, it says Omron. Um, inductive probe. I don't think any of the Omron ones that I'm, I've used or bought from Ali are genuine, so. But they've all worked well. I haven't had to replace any. This is going to make this a dream to install when it comes to the wiring part. This is power cables and USB cables. So there are, let's see, there's, I think this is Pi to controller USB cable, then Pi power cable, and this is probably controller power cable. And then everything's pre crimped and pre cut to length. And these are the. Looks like all the high voltage power cables. So we have cables to go from here. And what LDO has done is embraced these Wago, think of the Wago 221 connectors. And these just have a little flip lever that you pop open. And then your wire goes in there and you can do these ferrules I'm getting the angles wrong but these ferrules or bare wire works on these as well um, and then you snap that down and those are in there these really we talked about including these as spec um, particularly on Trident because that's what the last thing we were doing and it needs to happen um, it just didn't get included in time for release I think it needs to happen because they make the mains wiring much easier and most people I think use them anyway. Let's see, hey Kilo. stuff back in here Aster the um, Wago W A G O Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, G funny money just spelled it in his Yeah, as long as you take your time, read the instructions, do your research, uh, any of the Voron builds aren't aren't terrible. I mean, I say that. I, I that's the wrong wording. They're not not terrible sounds terrible. <laughs> all the all, I have had a ton of fun with every one of my builds. Let's just leave it at that. 
So this is a bundle of other stuff. So there is a little board that adapts the um, ribbon cables for the display to the single display and a few other pins on the um, E3 mini board. This, I believe, is for the, the, the lighting. We'll see when we look at the instructions. And it includes some LED lights, which the switch wire, the panel, the printed parts that hold the clear panels together at the top are meant for LED strip lighting to go in. So having all of that in here is is really nice because I never actually installed those on my original switch wire. Okay, let's get all this back in here and continue. Inlet and fans. So this is the power inlet pre pre-wired. It is the what is it? I don't remember what the designation on this is. Part cooling fan all with wires of the correct length to hit the tool head board. Hot end fan and the controller area fan. GDS time on all of them. We got the power supply. So meanwhile, LRS 350 24, which is what we spec. It is set to 230 volts. Fix that right now because I'll forget otherwise. Fasteners, tools, and miscellaneous. I'm not going to open each individual bag here. This has a flathead screwdriver, which I don't think was in the uh, V0 kit. I don't know. Oh, so this would be for all the terminals. That's good. It has the neat little um, brass heat set insert tool. And all of these, most of these, at least the bigger, um, oh, they're ball end. These look like decent, just first glance, they look like coated, at least, um, Allen drivers. And then there's some of the regular, several of, it looks like, maybe the 1.5 millimeter ones. Probably if you damage one. It's hard to get that size without going to a full on. Let me see if I have one that I can get to. A full, a nice driver. Like this is what I'll probably use for the build. This little MIP 1.5 millimeters. So on, when I did the V0 build, I, I had this thing, I don't I don't know, someone else said that it should be done, um, of using all the tools that came in the kit. And I'll probably bring these out and check them out and see how they feel, but I'm not going to 
limit myself to not using my nice tools. <laughs> Some 4x3mm PTFE tube. What is this? Oh, this is... <laughs> this is the little kit to print a Steppy. LDO's little mascot. So, it looks like that's kind of by default now, the first print. Let's see... Hi Nathan, welcome. I really like for crimping. You guys are talking about crimping, and you don't want to spend the money for the. Um, let me go get them. If you don't want to spend the money for the engineers, these iwis off of um, Amazon have served me through uh, eight boron builds and several rebuilds these are the I IWS-2820M and um, I don't have any complaints given I haven't used the engineers but I don't have any complaints on these four microfits and JSTs and I can make them work with DuPont connectors um, yeah. Some DHB tape, all the T-nuts, some other hardware, magnets, um, compressor feet that actually fit pretty well on the, um, on the switch wire because I think the top of these are right at, right at 27 millimeters wide and the bottom of the switch wire is 30 millimeters wide. Give me just a second. Charlie wants out. So, hey Eddie. All the hardware. Ooh, what is this? One millimeter brass shim washers. These are nice. I wasn't expecting these. They look really, they look pretty well machined. They're actually shims instead of just washers. Nice. And all the other hardware. What is that for? Is that for the probe? A little reflective tape for the probe, I'm guessing. I mean, every little, this, the details are pretty, were paid attention to. Okay, I'm gonna start running out of room over here, maybe. getting into some of the bigger boxes. Let's go to the electronics kit. We have a bunch of zip ties. A Kingston 16 gig SD card. <laughs> nice. It is a um, keystone connector for the um, Ethernet, so you can take the Raspberry Pi out to the back panel on the on the printer using this guy. Plugs into the back there. Raspberry Pi three, a three B plus, and then it looks like the um, RS twenty five dash five power supply for the pie and we saw the harness for this in the in the other box what is in here oh this is the display <laughs> is it 
it gonna? There we go. Is this a? This is Big Tree Tech. Well, if it's got the duck, it's got to be Big Tree Tech, right? Big, Big Tree Tech Mini 12864. I have so many duckies. I could probably fill this box with them. Hi, Andy. It is sanity. It is a uh, Pi 3B plus. Okay, so we have linear rails. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be their new, newer stainless steel. like linear rails. Is there anything different about these, Jason, if you're still around? Fantastic. I have not. So you're asking about whether I've looked at revising the, the accent piece for the Trident display panel to fit the Mini 12864 better. I haven't yet. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put those in something. Oh, well. Steppers. Point eight degree, the forty two STH forties. Is that for that must be for the Y stepper? Oh, that's for all of them, probably. Yeah, X, Y, and Z, and then the twenty millimeter extruder stepper motor. Same stuff. Yeah, so it would be, these wouldn't be the high temp sanity. With the removable wires, they're not gonna be the, the high temp variant. High option, no problem. Glad you're here. Chris, I do have the, um, the files, if you, Direct message me on Discord. I can send them over. I like the that display. And he's asking about the touchscreen or the little four. four yeah, I guess it's in text. Okay, let's save the frame for last. This is going to be the build plate, flex plate. So I have one that I bought from Printed Solid um, when after they first came out. I wonder how it compares. This is what I was using on my other Trident. So it looks the same. 
texture is very much the same. Okay. I was just curious. See if I can get all this back in there. Yeah, just message me, Chris, and I'll get that sent over to you. No problem. Holy moly. I created a leaning tower and it failed. Let me slip these down here. I was stacking all those boxes on this one. <laughs> This is the heat bed. So this should be identical, or is identical to the Prusa Mark III heat bed. So it's going to have, it's going to come with a thermistor, a glass bead thermistor with a connector and fasteners and foil tape and capped on tape to fasten to attach the thermistor to the bottom of the bed. It's the same way that Prusa does it. There's no other means on this. For anybody that hasn't seen these before, we do get a nice little, got a nice little surprise here. And Wow. Let's just get rid of this. on switch wire but it does say on the back designed by Michael and Joseph Prusa Prusa3d.com but that thermistor there's a I think the intent is to put it around here on the bottom of the bed this will have somewhere in the packaging it's probably probably these guys these are 3.5 millimeter um, screws and that's to go for the bed the flex sheet locating pins back here so these just thread into the FRC the PCB bed and stick up just a little bit so you can locate your bed on there and Charlie is complaining to come back in so He's gonna sit there and meow until I do, so give me a second. Nathan, both sides of the flex plate were textured. I am a huge fan of the Prusa genuine textured sheets and that they work on this. That's one reason all my 250 builds I've made work with the, I put those pegs on there so I can use the Prusa sheets. And now these um, LDO sheets, but I printed some stuff on this sheet on the, um, on my Trident and I like the way it's coming out too. That is true, Andrew. The, Charlie is Charlie's the boss around here. <laughs> okay, so then the Y carriage. So this is the Voron edition of this Y Y carriage switch wire edition. So it's going to be, and this didn't work out last time, so. Let's just do this. Um, it's pre-drilled for the the switch wire modifications. Now, if you're building from scratch and you're or you're upgrading a Prusa Mark III, um, and you got one that doesn't have these, then in the files is a drill template, and it's not hard and it's not super critical. Um, because you can line things up um, and then tighten those down. 
when we do the build, I'll be going through lining up the bed and squaring the gantry because that's really critical on a trident. I gotta figure out which orientation this went back in here. What the hell? Just not lining it up. I think I've tried every combination now. Aha! Okay. See if Charlie likes that. And we're not going to pull the whole frame out, but we'll just go with the, open up one one piece. Ooh! Let's see how well that gets captured. Washing it out a little. This is probably better. Yeah, I um, chose red because I'm going to take my red V0 to work and use it at, at my desk, kind of a conversation piece. So... Now I'll still have a, a red printer here at home. I'm not going to put that back on. <laughs> I will check it all. I'll check every extrusion before the build. I don't want anything to stop it in its tracks. Any fasteners, whatever, I've got my own stockpile I can dip into, but for things like this I'll have to look so that oh, here we go <laughs> that's the that's the kit what do you guys think any questions on it I love that the the thing I really like about LDOs and I and I and I like this since before I even heard of Voron and I bought my Prusa Bear um, my Prusa Bear setup in that the anodizing is done after machining. So all of the the ends are still anodized, all the blind the wrench holes, every all the way through it's all anodized. Yeah, so, I mean, let's open this up again, because the, the switch wire, you, well, okay, fine. Let's do this. Switch wire uses your normal 2020, 3030, and this guy on the bottom here. So Andy, all of the kits that, or the frames that LDO makes, they're all pre-done. So you can't buy just the extrusions. So anything you buy, if it's for a printer, it's going to have all the um, holes drilled and tapped and cut to length for you. So this is a um, 3060 extrusion. So this is the base, the two... Um, the two main base extrusions and then you got 3030s to the side and above but you can see the 
sizes here. And I don't want to drop all of this. So. And I've got to figure out what I'm going to do during the build because this surface I'm on, besides having this raised part, this bull nose, not bull nose, but a, I don't know what that's called, but it's a, a lip on the front. So I can't tighten stuff across that hangs off the align stuff that hangs off the end of the bed or the bench. And it's not flat. If I set a printer on here that's flat on any of my other surfaces, it'll rock. So I may have to move over to this um, beige surface, the bench over here, and do the bed assembly. Because it seems to be much better. Astro Dreamweaver, the LDO frames for the 2020s are all um, five millimeter center. So it's a, a five millimeter threaded. So it's a 4.5 millimeter hole or whatever. The kit does come with an enclosure, Nathan. That was early. I, I brought those up. They're, they're sitting down here in the in front of me. I think my surface over here is going to be flat enough for what we're doing. And I'm going to measure everything and make sure it's square. I'll use my, um, my machine at square and stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on Sunday. Because this would normally be my kind of close-up, move-it-around camera. I bought another, so I have two of these C922s, um, the, the camera pointing at me is sitting there. I could potentially be able to move that back and forth, um, but I only, uh, right now I only have so many cameras. Um, I don't know what the build is going to be better, to have this view or to be able to have something that moves around and then you have this view which is what you're used to seeing from my streams. So, holy moly, that's a mess over there. <laughs> so, we shall see. Charlie's gonna hit something on the laptop. <laughs> You like this view, Sanity? Yeah. I'll figure out something. Maybe it's, maybe I'll take this camera and make it, give it a long enough cable that if I need to, I can move it down here for a second. I like having something to talk to. And that was kind of the point of that. Yeah. Or I might be able to take the top. Maybe I can make it so I can switch back and forth a little easier than right now. It's just clamped to... It's clamped to a piece of 2020 extrusion that's clamped to a shelf. <laughs> to one of these shelves. But I'm trying to evolve. What, what'll what really be helpful is I'll be able to use the, the GoPro. Um, maybe use it for either top view or one of these other views once I get a nice camera for my wife that I can steal when I stream. So this is an old Woot shirt, um, Sanity. So if anybody, well, Woot is owned by Amazon now, uh, but years ago it was its own thing and they had a shirts.woot and they had a different, um, a different shirt every, week or whatever and this was one that caught my eye so I bought it all 
All of these tassels, um, Andrew, are from Kinovo silicon heat beds. And I've got them all, oh, you can't see these, but I've, I think I've got the full, the full collection of colors and styles for at least the last <laughs> however long. And this is just, <laughs> and Charlie's having grand old time with these. Now he's going to want to play with them later. <laughs> yeah, so it's a take on portal. On the back is the, the other side of the mouse. Although I've, I've, I've been told that doesn't look like a mouse. maker those those etched those etched frames from sacred or sacred sacred 3d or whatever are really nice i was he's been doing that for a long time for the prusa stuff it's cool that he's branched out no problem master thanks for coming i can't read anything because charlie's in the way Charlie was sleeping on the couch when I got home, so he didn't get his snuggles. <laughs> Charlie wants it all. So I'm going to take off here. If anybody has any last minute questions, I just wanted to open up the box, see what was in there, show you guys. And now I can go through and take a little more detailed inventory. Make sure, oh, I guess I can, I'm in printing. Before we go, I can, I'm in printing parts. So I think this is what I'm going to go with. I don't, I haven't, I'll bring out the frame and get my wife's final approval. But I can pivot on the I can pivot on the accent color pretty easy. This was one plate. This is one plate so far. So we'll see. It's stellar black. Put the test piece in there. <laughs> and then stellar blue. I actually don't have a scene set up for the talking cam. It's it's only set up right now for the um, in the corner of the screen. And plus, I don't know what might be back there that you might be able to see if it was zoomed in. <laughs> Oh, I would love a stellar perfect purple. What I would really like is a um, stellar like near the fluorescent green, but with a, a good amount of metallic in it. I bought some of the fusion filament, something I don't remember what it's called. I haven't printed with it. I'm hoping it's close to what I'm looking for. Oh, I can. Let's see. Ooh. I don't think there's anything back there. I think we're okay. It's, I mean, it, it seems to be pretty decent quality for a webcam. I think that comes across, right? I don't know what size it was. Okay. 
Okay, guys. Well, stay tuned. Sunday. I know it's Halloween. Hope it doesn't. Hope some people can still come along, but I want to get it. I want to get it built. So I'll be starting pretty early my time on Sunday. Um, let me answer a couple of questions here in chat. Um, Andrew, what res do I print, or is it variable layer height? Everything I'm doing is point two layer heights, and it's. I mean, especially for printed parts, it's fine. Um, Kevin, I haven't started printing the buggy yet. I, the next, I've been busy on a few projects. Um, I had a PT100 step stick problem, I think, on the orange trident. And I think it's because I was using an older version of the step stick that needed a little modification. Um, so far it hasn't aired out again. And then I'm rebuilding my V2 here. So, to do some other stuff. So, I do plan, once I can um, dedicate some time to tuning PLA on the Legacy, I do plan to get that printed and hopefully do, I don't know if it'll be Sunday streams, but some sort of stream for building that, because I think it'd be fun. And yeah, Kilo has a good point. I, I basically follow what the um, what the manual s sets are, what the in instructions are. So Sanity, the step stick I had problems with was an old revision. Anything that's a, that you're buying out there right now wouldn't have the problem that I had. So I had I have one LDO step stick in that machine and one old revision. I thought I had grabbed two LDOs. Um, so. Good night, Andrew. I'll just cut the stream here. Have a good evening, everyone, and we'll see you on Sunday, hopefully. Good night.